Worries about an unkempt pet cemetery swirling on social media. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. While it is now closed for new burials, hundreds paid for headstones over the years to mark the memory of their pets. Well, now dozens taken to Facebook to claim Pet Rest Memorial Garden in Gallatin should be taking better care. News Channel 5's Nikki Hauser took a closer look for us, learning more from both pet owners and also questioning the owner of the property. Mm -mm. If a dog is a man's best friend, then a cat is this woman's. The cat adopted us and we adopted him. Debbie Trisdale's childhood pet, TC, which stood for Tomcat. One of eight cats she and her good friend are trying to track down in this pet cemetery in Gallatin. It's kind of, it's hard not being able to find them. They've been buried here decades at Pet Rest Memorial Gardens. Oh my gosh, when that cat died, it was like losing a family member. But Debbie says the place started to look different when ownership changed hands 10 years ago. Today, the overgrown grass and leaves cover most of the headstones memorializing thousands of dogs and cats. Our pets don't matter. Our, our pets that have gone on do not matter. They're just, a, that, that's the message that, that was sent to me. News Channel 5 brought Debbie's concerns to the owner, Michael Bartley. He explained a former employee used to mow the grass more often. Still, he says he comes out every day to clean up, cuts the grass weekly in the summer, and plans to clear those fall leaves soon. Now, a chill in the air as Debbie suddenly Yay. finds what she's looking for. I found them. Dusts off the graves of old friends. And I found, I found TC. Along with Samantha, Lucky, and Sassy. And a big sigh of relief. It took a few minutes, but. At least 30. But I found them. In Gallatin, Nikki Hauser, News Channel 5.